when we actually go to take our data for the polarization dependence for lab 10, we're going to go ahead and uh, quickly run through some of the little tricks and some of the stumbling blocks that a lot of students have had in the past. So hopefully this won't be you. The first thing we're going to set up is our detector. And instead of using our eye, we're going to replace our eye with this wonderful little device called the photodiode. And the photodiode has a cord that's attached. We can see that the cord uh, I have attached to our voltmeter. And our voltmeter, our DMM, is set to voltage and our COM port. It's set to a DC voltage. The other two little leads that we have, the two wires coming out, one of them goes to the ground of the 5 volt source. The other one clips on and makes a good connection with the positive part. And if we turn it on, the detector will be uh, running. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in two polarizers. And they're going to be looking just a little bit different. And before we add them in, we're going to just tell you quickly what they are. Uh, the first one, this polarizer here, we're going to actually call the polarizer. This second polarizer, it has a bunch of numbers around it. It's a polarizer, but we call it an analyzer. And it's an analyzer because we can analyze what's happening because of the numbers. So the trick when we set this up, the numbers that the analyzers say are just relative angles. So when we set it to, in this case, you know, 320 degrees, we may be running at 320 degrees. It might actually be an absolute number of zero or something. So to figure out where the zero point is, and this is a very crucial point, you want to actually take the two, uh, the polarizer and the analyzer, and hold it up to your eye and rotate this until you see the maximum amount of light coming through. And whatever that value reads, so in this case I have it reading at 312 degrees. At 312 degrees for me, my uh, analyzer is set to be the exact same polarization as the polarizer. So that's what I'm going to actually call zero degrees. Even though it reads 312, I know that there's this offset of 312 degrees. So I can subtract it off of each of my angles. Now, because we have light coming in from everywhere, including the windows, hopefully the windows will be shut. But we're going to try to help out. And what we're going to do is we're going to move all of our components right next to each other. And this way, any of the light that's coming in from here, hopefully the majority of the light that the detector sees is coming only from our detector. So once we have everything set up, we can go ahead, turn our detector on, and we'll see that the uh, multimeter reads hopefully a little bit under 5 volts. So what we would do, record the value for our 0 degree, which we originally set, move it by 10 degrees. Now it's at 10 degrees. We write down uh, the new reading. Move it 10 more degrees, write down the new reading, so on and so forth, and hopefully we'll see a pattern emerge. So good luck when you're sending out this lab, and hopefully you won't make the mistakes that some of your previous classmates have made.